The 3A championship game between Byron and Monticello was everything we thought it would be, a back-and-forth shootout. Early in the second quarter, Monticello back near its own goal line. Braden Snyder, the quarterback, dumps the screen pass to Alec Bundy. Bundy with incredible speed burst 95 yards for a touchdown in the first score of the game. Tigers came back before halftime. Isaac Stickler takes the ball, and he'll go 14 yards around the corner for a touchdown. That tied it up at seven. To the third quarter now, and it was Ricky Mesling scoring from five yards out. The Tigers had the lead for the first time at 14 to 10. But the great combination of Snyder and Alec Burke came right back again from Monticello with a touchdown pass to put Monticello back in front 17 to 14. Early in the fourth quarter, Bundy scored again on a three yard TD. The Tigers were down by 10, 24 to 14. They came back with a touchdown, the Tigers did, to cut it down to 24 20. But it came down to this, two minutes, three seconds to go in the game. Byron with the football, they try the trick play, the halfback option. Stickler with the throw for Drake Snodgrass and it was batted away and picked off and that was the ball game. The Tigers state championship dream comes up just short, losing 24 to 20. They're good, just like us. They made it to the state finals. They're the best team in 3A, so we were expecting a tough battle. I told especially the seniors, keep their heads up. You know, they, uh, they've done a great job for four years for us and they have a lot to be proud of. I mean, to be state runner-up, um, you know, that's a huge accomplishment for them. In Champaign, I'm Scott Lubber.